Hey everyone, to the Collect Jurassic, back with another Jurassic Park 30th anniversary unboxing. There's so much cool stuff coming out right now, like these Tamagotchis that I just got from Amazon. Um, I am so excited about these. I actually, um, despite growing up in the 90s, never had a Tamagotchi back then. But now that there's these Jurassic Park ones, I am so into it. It's a total throwback. And of course, you can see there's two different versions, and they both come in this awesome JP30 packaging that we've already taken a look at on my last video about the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary captives. Definitely check that out, but this is what's next. Uh, our two different versions of Tamagotchi. Um, we have the Amber version here, you can see in the packaging, and I am gonna go ahead and get this one out and play around with it. And we also have this other one that's got like this uh, eggshell with the raptor breaking out of it. And then you can see the packaging itself is also really, really cool. It's got, it stands up by itself, which is awesome. Um, it's got a little foot. It's a lot of stuff I collect doesn't always stand up in packaging so perfectly, but these really do. And the packaging itself, the design is really cool. Of course, you have the, the green and red, uh, like Ford Explorer, um, coloration that a lot of this JP30 stuff has, but also has like this fun little um, Jurassic silhouette back there with little digital dinosaurs, since that's what you'll be raising here. We got Stegosaurus, Triceratops, looks like Velociraptor, a Patasaurus, and a Tranodon. Really, really cute um, against that sunset. And then, of course, same thing for this one on the back. There's, uh, you can see there's 24 dinosaurs to raise, which is awesome. So it's random, whichever one you get. Um, there's three mini games you can play. And then there's also like um, random movie scenes that pop up as well. You can see um, it looks like Owen in the Raptors, Gyrosphere, um, and then the games looks like a Mosasaur, a running game, and a Raptor hatching game. So um, all that little stuff packed into this tiny little, um, tiny little, basically a little egg right um these they did come out with these tamagotchis for jurassic world dominion too um i skipped those but i'm all over the jurassic park stuff this year so of course i had to get this jurassic park 31 um you know i had to get it so we could play it and check it out so i'm going to take a quick break and carefully open this so we're not ruining any packaging because i have a feeling i can put it back in here when i'm done after we get done playing it so let's go ahead and uh take a quick break and we'll open it up all right, I was able to get this thing out pretty easily and uh, keep the packaging too, so I should be able to pop that back in here later. But you can see I have the um, the little Tamagotchi out, and it is tiny. I mean, this thing is small. My hands are, I think my hands are pretty normal size, but this thing is really, really, really small. I love how the amber is all um, translucent and stuff. It looks really cool. It's got the little Jurassic mark on there, which is probably my favorite part. It looks like it's got a little bit of dirt too. Um, you can kind of get some detail of that other one in the packaging with the egg. I'm not going to take this one out, but you can see it's got colored buttons too. But this one um, has gray buttons. I just like the aesthetic of this one a little bit better. It does have this little um, piece of uh, like uh, plastic that's holding the battery out so it doesn't run out of batteries. And once we pull this, uh, it will start and we'll be able to um, hatch a dinosaur. So let's go ahead and pull this out and see uh, what we get. So it's gonna make me um, set my time here. So it's about nine o'clock here, y'all. You wanna know how late I stay up making reviews. So we'll go ahead and click nine o'clock and we'll see what happens. It looks like we got a little mosquito in the, in the amber and now it's DNA. Very cool. And we got an egg. So the egg is Rocking back and forth. I don't think there's anything I can press right now. And we got it. We got a hatch. And we got a little baby dino. Oh, look how cute he is. So there's the little cute baby dino. And he will just kind of hang out. I think he. Oh, he's going to walk off the screen. So this, this is. I mean, I do remember these a little bit from when I was younger. I just didn't play them very much. No very much but you can see he's kind of walking up and kind of back and forth on the screen and these buttons we can do different things so the first button uh, lets us feed him lets us play a game so you can feed him either meat I'm trying to get the best angle of this you guys can see <coughs> excuse me you can see the meat or the fish so we'll go ahead and feed him um we'll give him some fish so there he goes oh he's gonna He's going to eat that fish up. Go ahead and feed him another another fish. Get him happy. I mean, this is basically what these games are. is taking care of your animal. 
Um, I'm gonna feed him some meat. So he'll just keep, he'll keep probably just keep eating until we until he is full basically. So pretty basic like pet simulator these things always were. So we'll go ahead and feed him one more one more fish and see what else he can do. Um, so if we back out of this, um, he's just happy as can be. I think if I press a button, yay, yay, he's happy. Look how happy he is. I think that's just him telling us he's happy. Um, and you can see I can always check the time. It's kind of like a little watch too. Put it on your bag, a little keychain, and and keep the the clock. But doubles as a little pet dino. So let's go ahead and um, let's go feed him again. Feed him one more piece of meat. Then we'll play with the games because there are a few games in here that we can check out. So he's eaten the eat, he's had his fill of food. Um, let's go ahead and check out those games. So the first one is called Which One, um, which I think is an egg guessing game. So we'll go ahead and let me see if I can get this any any closer so we can see it on screen. Uh, no, not food. I guess you're gonna eat again, man. I'm really stuffing this raptor, or I think it's a raptor. It looks like a tiny little raptor. I'm really stuffing it full of food. But let's go ahead and do one of those games. We'll do this witch egg one. So, looks like there's a little raptor egg. Uh, two eggs. Which one is the raptor in? Um, this one. Did I get it? Okay. Which one is he in? Um, this one? Did I just get that twice right in a row? I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'm failing to see see the challenge here. Oh, no, I just guessed the wrong egg. He was in the other egg. So just really, literally just a game of chance, I guess. Yeah, and I keep guessing the wrong egg. Hey, it's okay. My raptor's happy, so... It doesn't matter. Let's check out some of those other games. Um, then there's this escape game that we can try. Oh, that's a cool little digital T-Rex. Oh, cool. He's roaring. So this guy's running. Looks like Ian Malcolm, doesn't it? He's running. He's running. Where's he going? He's even got his shirt open. And I think that just means I died. Um... Oh, and my baby raptor is not happy about that. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Let's go ahead and try a different game. Uh, let's try that escape game one more time. I feel like I, I had a bad a bad shot at that. So let's try it again. We got a little T-Rex in there. Oh, looks like I can press buttons. Maybe if I press buttons, he'll run faster. Run! Run, Ian, Run! Yeah, see, I think I, that there, I beat it. That time, T-Rex, like what? I mean, does that mean I won? Yeah. Well, that's a pretty easy game. You basically just press the button. I think there's one more game. Mosasaurus game. Uh, it's called Catch Food. So you can see a little Mosasaurus there. Pretty funny the little like, little graphics they have on this. So it looks like he, yeah, he goes up and down. He eats things. I'm trying to play this through my through my camera screen. It's easier. It's harder than it looks. The game is easier than it looks, though. <laughs> so he's just eating eating food, and then he jumps out of the water. And I think I think that's I think that's yeah. My, maybe maybe Raptor's happy, so that must count as a win. So yeah, he's just gonna sit here and and play, and uh, I can feed him. I know that they'll eventually go to sleep at some point. They'll poop and they'll grow. I mean, they'll grow and grow and grow. Right now, he's just kind of like a basic baby dinosaur. But um, the packaging does say that there's 24 different dinosaurs. So I'm assuming he'll grow into another one eventually, um, which is pretty cool um, that you can kind of get a lot of replayability out of this. It's very simple. I mean, it's not going to be like your modern, you know, mobile game with lots and lots of um, features. This is definitely um, just like they were back in the day. Just basically just like a throwback, but a fun little distraction and honestly not too distracting like some games are. This is something you can just glance down on and 
feed them if you want. I did want to get one of those movie scenes on here. I know that sometimes movie scenes show up, but I think they're random and um, I'm not going to keep talking long enough to see if we get one. But um, all in all, I think these things are awesome. Um, a fun little collectible, whether you're going to keep it, you know, in the packaging here or get it out like I am and play with it. Um, I'm definitely going to probably keep it in my work bag just as a fun little Jurassic token and fun little game I can play. Um, but really cool stuff. Again, these are available on Amazon right now. So I'll put the link um, in the caption so you can check those out if you want to grab one yourself. Um, an awesome addition to my little growing Jurassic Park 30th anniversary um, collection I already have. Packaging looks great. And I do think I'm going to be able to fit this one back in someday after I'm done, um, you know, playing with it. But yeah, that's my little dino just walking back and forth. Pretty cute. Um, pretty fun stuff. So I think that's all I got to say about these Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Tamagotchis, but hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, I know I'm going to enjoy this little thing. So I think that's all I got. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.